Nine Symptoms of Calcium Deficiency You Should Know Calcium deficiency disease, hypocalcemia, is a condition people often neglect. But it is a serious medical condition you should know about. Generally, calcium is a vital mineral our body needs to function effectively. Without it, your body can't build strong bones and teeth. Additionally, your body needs enough calcium to help your heart and other core muscles function well. But what happens when you have calcium deficiency? It could be disastrous and making you prone to developing disorders like osteoporosis, having brittle and fragile bones, osteopenia, insufficient protein and mineral content in bone tissue, etc. You see, calcium is a vital mineral in the body and we all need an adequate amount of it to stay healthy. In today's video, we will talk about some of the common symptoms of calcium deficiency. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to help us grow this channel. Thank you for your support. Here are some of the symptoms of calcium deficiency, otherwise known as hypocalcemia. One, confusion or memory. Do you often experience disorientation, confusion, or memory loss? If yes, it's essential to see a medical doctor because you may be suffering from calcium deficiency symptoms. Your nerves and brain cells depend on calcium to function effectively. For instance, once enough calcium enters your nerve cells, it stimulates the release of neurotransmitters. However, it significantly impairs cognitive function when you have calcium deficiency disease. That explains why people with hypocalcemia often experience disorientation, confusion, and of course, memory loss. Number two, muscle cramps and spasms. Muscle cramps and spasms are the most common symptoms of calcium deficiency. Muscle cramps are painful contractions and tightening of your muscles. This condition is common, involuntary, and unpredictable when suffering from calcium deficiency disease. It primarily affects your thighs, calves, feet, hands, arms, and abdomen. Generally, calcium controls the contraction and relaxation of your muscles. And when these muscles lack calcium, it becomes difficult or impossible to maintain their normal tone. And this could lead to aches, cramps, spasms, muscle weakness, etc. I advise you to visit your healthcare provider whenever you start experiencing muscle cramps or spasms. 3. Numbness and Tingling Tingling or numbness is one of the symptoms of calcium deficiency. When you feel numb or tingle in your hands and feet, you may be suffering from hypocalcemia. If your calcium deficiency is severe, it causes numbness. Generally, every nerve in our body needs calcium to function effectively. And when this nutrient drops to a low level, your nerve cells will struggle to register sensations and send off signals. Four, fatigue. When you have a calcium deficiency, you may be feeling tired too frequently. Generally, your muscle fibers and nerves need calcium to function effectively. And when you don't have enough calcium in your body, it leads to fatigue, exhaustion, and weakness. Although fatigue may be a symptom of other medical conditions, you can't rule out the possibility of hypocalcemia. So, when you experience fatigue, exhaustion, and weakness, seek medical attention immediately. It's easier to treat calcium deficiency when you detect it early enough. Five, abnormal heart rhythm. Does your heart beat irregularly? Well, a regular heartbeat is one of the most severe symptoms of calcium deficiency, and it can be life-threatening if you don't detect it on time. Irregular heartbeats caused by calcium deficiency can lead to several abnormalities that you can use an electrocardiogram to register. You may be wondering how calcium deficiency can lead to abnormal heart rhythm. Let me explain better to help you understand the connection between hypocalcemia and irregular heartbeat. Like you already know, the heart itself is a muscle, and like every other muscle, when the heart cells don't get enough calcium, they can't function effectively. It causes abnormal heart rhythm, spasms of the heart muscles, and narrows your arteries when it continues. Six, seizures. Most people think that seizures are a condition that's only caused by epilepsy, but that is not true. Seizures are a symptom of several other medical conditions, including calcium deficiency. Calcium helps your brain cells to release neurotransmitters, and muscles also need this important nutrient to contract. However, when you don't have enough calcium in your body, there will be too much excitement in the brain, triggering seizures. Seven, 
osteopenia, and osteoporosis. Osteopenia and osteoporosis are both symptoms of calcium deficiency. While osteoporosis is a condition in which the bones are weak and brittle, they will also be so brittle that a mild fall or stress like bending over or coughing can cause a fracture. On the other hand, osteopenia is a medical condition in which your bone tissues lack protein and mineral content. It's not as severe as osteoporosis. These two conditions are triggered when the calcium levels in your blood drop and your body has no other option but to release more calcium from bones to compensate for the decline in blood level. When this action continues over time, it makes your bones frail, and this will make you more prone to fractures. Eight, dry skin. Who would have thought there's a link between dry skin and hypocalcemia? Anyways, we learn something new every day. If you have been battling dry or scaly skin for a while, it could surprisingly result from calcium deficiency. One of the functions of calcium people don't really know is its support for the skin. When you have enough calcium in your body, it decreases your skin pH and protects its barrier, and this will help to reduce or prevent excessive loss of fluid from the skin. However, when your calcium level drops too low, it will affect your skin's ability to maintain moisture and a healthy pH. Nine, tooth decay and gum disease. Calcium makes your teeth stronger and healthier. Even though food, drinks, and mouth bacteria fight to degrade minerals in your teeth, calcium will help to prevent this mineral loss. However, if you don't have enough calcium in your body, the food, drinks, and mouth bacteria fighting to degrade minerals in your teeth will have their way. And when this happens, it leads to tooth decay and gum disease. These are some of the symptoms of calcium deficiency. Which of these symptoms have you experienced? Kindly share your experience in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.